Hey there guys, if you've watched this channel at all, you know that I kind of have a thing for these turbo megahertz displays. And uh, yeah, these would sometimes come with old computers and the digits would indicate the speed of the computer both with turbo engaged and turbo off. And most of the time the turbo being on would actually slow down the computer so it would be you know, compatible with older games and so forth. But if you've worked with these things, and I, I do really like the displays, but you know the the way that you actually turn each one of these segments on and off in order to get a particular digit, the correct digit here for the speed of your computer, you know you actually take these jumpers on and off and on onto these pens. So um, you know sometimes you can look up the diagrams online, the, the model numbers. Sometimes you'll find it. I actually found a really good website. I'll post a link down below the video to that website. Um, there are a number there. Uh, diagrams that can help you figure this out but a lot of them they come across simply don't have diagrams and they don't really make a lot of logical sense and I actually spent this past weekend decoding uh, one of mine and uh, it's basically just a matter of trial and error actually working with those jumpers and uh, figuring out what segment of that eight digit or eight segment digit turned on and off with these jumpers on there so uh, that took a couple hours and it's kind of ridiculous which leads me to the current discussion here, and that is of this particular turbo display on this computer. And this is a really neat computer. I will make a separate video just about this computer and what I'm doing with it. Um, but I want to talk about this display specifically because um, it is a nice display, but the best part about this display is in fact how it actually handles programming these digits. So again, most of the time you have these jumpers that you have to move around, but not in this case. So you see down here, we've got this panel with a whole bunch of resistors. Uh, but we've got these little switches here, these little dip switches. And there's three of them, one for each of those three digits. And in order to change one of the eight segments, and you can actually see over here, one, two, three, four, and so forth, and actually tells you what segment if these jumpers cor correspond to, or these switches correspond to. Uh, all you have to do is just switch it, right? So if I want to turn off, um, you know, the, the, the bottom uh, segment here uh, of the uh, 100th digit, then I just go ahead and change that. And on the front, the bottom segment of the three, it was a 350, is, is off. So just turn that back on here, just switch it back off to on. And you can do that for each one of these. So it's nice, it's got that, you know, it's got the cheat sheet right there of which switch does which. So it's very easy actually to switch um, any segment on and off and to change from, you know, I've got 350 now, but I could change it to 200 megahertz or you know, 800 megahertz or 750, whatever, um, all the way from basically a series of zeros, it could be 000, all the way up to, I suppose, 999 um, would be the, the top speed capable on this uh, display. So, yeah, um, really cool stuff. I love this. Very, very easy. Unfortunately, as much as I like this case, it doesn't actually have a turbo button, so it doesn't really have that feature where I can change you know, the speed of the processor. It's just a bit too new for that, I think. Um, so the turbo display also cannot change between you know, two digits. But if you've come across a similar kind of dip switch turbo display, please let me know in the comments below, because I'm quite curious if there's one out there. All right, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing.